What's up everybody? Welcome to the Star Yak Ranch and also welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Now in today's video, we are here in Casper, Wyoming at the Star Yak Ranch and there has been a just endless amount of questions about the ranch. So many people want to meet the yaks up close and personal. We want to talk about breeding pets, meat, food, and the whole charade. And yes, girl, we've been making headlines. So let's come take a tour of the Star Yak Ranch. Finally, after a year of so many secrets, let's take a little ride. Oh, it's so nice to have the yaks just surround my home. Now when I first got into yaks, now you guys, I've been filming at the Star Yak Ranch for so long and I've used zero footage. Chris is probably like, hello. <laughs> so I've also done a lot of vlogging, so we're gonna throw up some clips throughout this video when I'm, when I'm running my mouth, but I started, you guys, with just this house and 70 acres. And then people around us were selling a lot of land. Now the Star Yak Ranch is now at over 600 acres and the yaks just get to be grass fed and chill and live in their environment. I'm so happy to call Wyoming my home. It'll be two years in December, can't believe it. And we've been yakking for over a year. <laughs> Hi girl. And I know that I've kept this ranch kind of, not under wraps, but I've just been keeping it to myself. It's where I found peace after being canceled for the 10th time. <laughs> and I just wanted to be surrounded by animals. So you guys know I have eight Pomeranians. Um, I have only a few people that help me on this ranch, but it's really mainly me and my best friend, Michael. I do have a few ranch hands, but I just, it's really me and my best friend doing all, all the work. Santa Hi, Hey, Pumpkin. Come here, girl. Now this is my birthday twin, my little Scorpio. Look at her. <laughs> Today we're gonna go drive around the ranch. We're gonna meet some of the yaks and we're gonna answer all your questions because there are so many. Um, so let's skip the Rolls Royce, get in our Polaris General and go see the ranch. Okay, so this is how I start my mornings. I come out here really early when everyone's just chilling and I just spend time with them all. A lot of people are like, Jeffrey, how are your yaks so tame? <laughs> you really have to spend a lot of time with them. A lot of love and affection. This is Swiss chocolate. He's a golden yak. He's a golden trim. And he is such a sweet boy. We've been handling him now for about over a year. And we're going to try to do some grooming today. So yesterday he let me brush him out. And when the summer hits, this coat starts shedding. Huh, Swiss boy. So this is all fiber. And yes, it is usable. I mean, the fiber just melts right off. Now, normally I'd have a bag, I would save it all, and you could send it to the fiber mill, and that's a whole nother conversation. But um, right now, it's just about, you know, I have over 120 yaks, and they all need to get groomed. <laughs> Big old Swiss man. So this is his winter coat. Now, a lot of people like Jeffrey, do they ever go indoors? Yaks thrive when it's negative 20 degrees. Remember, they're from the Himalayas and, you know, the Tibetan plains of 18,000 feet elevation. You know what I mean? So they thrive in Wyoming. <laughs> Look at his fiber color. It's so cool. So as summer comes, their thick coat that protects them in the winter, it all just starts shedding. Hi, big boy. Now, I love doing this because this is all about just bonding with the animal, letting them know that it's all positive energy. They're just getting loved on and they're desensitized to humans. So. Huh, Swissy, tell him. So we have these in all the pastures. It's a whole mineral supplement. Yaks really need copper in their diet. Um, and these are things that they're not gonna get from hay or grazing the mountain. Huh, Swiss. This is like an ASMR moment. So he'll just stand here for like 20, 30 minutes and just lick. <laughs> all my exes. <laughs> and then this is really gonna help him. Oh yeah, look at all that. Now, the fiber on the neck is the most valuable. It's softer than cashmere, feel that. Wow. Isn't that cool? That's crazy. All right, Swissy, we'll see you in a little bit, big head. Come on, let's go this way. Now this big baby is Shiva. He comes from Colorado. He's a big boy and he's a steer, meaning he's not fertile. His balls have been, and he really keeps all the bulls in line and really kind of, he's like Switzerland in the pasture. Now yesterday I actually groomed him and I got all of this off. So now it's just about some maintenance and 
you see how now the different colors will have different type of fiber. So the white, it kind of melts off different, less guard hair than the goldens. It's also very grounding just to like hang out with animals and not people all day. <laughs> um, so I really got all of that. The, the parts that I need to get now are like branch that was in his arm. <laughs> and then all of this right here wants to shed. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Now normally I would save this because the white fiber is valuable. You can dye any color, you can make it into yarn or so many different things. I'm very ignorant about the fiber world of yakking, so I'm learning um, and I can't wait to absorb more knowledge. But for now, we just want to get these winter coats off. So I'm not going to save it. And actually the birds love to collect this fiber all over the ground and they'll use it for their nests. So multi-purpose uh, always. <laughs> And then sometimes when you're giving them a massage, they just casually fall asleep. <laughs> oh, big boy. Yeah, big old Shiva. Aren't his horns massive? It's insane. <laughs> They're so big. He's a deadly man. <laughs> this is like one big massage for him, so he's just having the time of his life. He's like, ah, oh, so relaxing. All right, you guys, is this where we segue into my meat business? <laughs> Oh my god, people are so crazy. I think city folk don't understand farming, Chris. There's a very, there was a very big misconception that when I announced that I was gonna start selling meat, people thought it was all of my pets that I've been spending the last year and a half with. Sorry, they're all right here. <laughs> now, there is definitely a whole culture in the entire America of harvesting food, and I think most people know that. But then I was shocked. I read some comments like, I thought meat came from the grocery store. You guys, I literally was like, that's not real, right? And then people in Wyoming were like, oh yeah, people think meat comes from the grocery store. And I'm like, <laughs> oh my God. So I had no idea people were uneducated about farming, where meat came from, um, even the culture of uh, hunting and providing food for your family. It's a whole entire uh, world. And living in Wyoming, I've definitely learned the Wyoming way. But yes, it may seem a little interesting to some people or you were a little perturbed that I am uh, raising yaks for breeding and pets. And then, yes, we're also um, raising yaks for food. And yak meat is so amazing. It's actually the leanest, healthiest red meat in America and no one's talking about it. For some reason, everyone picked um, beef and bison and yaks got just pushed to the, the wayside in America where, you know, in, in Tibetan culture, yaks have, I mean, yaks have been around for 5,000 years. They're some of the best, most hardiest creatures that we have in our world. They've been here since the dinosaur ages, so there was never a plan to raise yaks for meat in the beginning. I know some people can't fathom that and they want to say I'm a liar, I'm this, blah, blah, blah. Girl, I've been living out in paradise out here. <laughs> Um, and when I learned more about the animal, I was like, oh, well, I want to try doing stuff like that. So yes, a long time ago, I did trademark the Star Yak Ranch for all sorts of things, fiber, breeding, butchering, everything. So yes, I do sell a vegan cosmetics brand. And I'm like, you guys, that has nothing to do with my yak ranch. <laughs> that is a whole separate company. But I get it, it's Jeffree Star. People love to make everything into something that it's not. And I've just been keeping to myself for a few years, so I know the girls wanted to get excited. But this animal, you can use it all aspects, whether it's a pet, whether you're using it to ride up the mountain and you saddle train it, whether you are eating it, whether you're using its horns, the skull. I mean, this animal is just, it's been used for thousands and thousands of years. So as I educated myself more, I tried yak meat last year for Christmas and I was like, oh my God, it's so good and it's so lean. And I get that a lot of people may not even know what a yak was until Jeffrey Lynn popped up on the scene. I have a yak ranch now and we are selling meat and I'm just gonna say it one more time in case you haven't seen TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. <laughs> um, but all of the yaks that I'm raising for food, they're in a back pasture. Yes, they are still getting love and care and they're eating amazing. Obviously, they're all grass fed. But I don't name them. I don't halter train them. I don't 
spend hours with them. And at my ranch, we don't have names for our food. But that doesn't mean that other ranches don't. I know people that would raise someone like this and then 10 years later they're like, okay, I fed you for 10 years, now you're gonna feed me. And it's a very different um, dichotomy. So leaving the big city of LA and educating myself of the Wyoming way and actually becoming a real rancher besides a cosmetic mogul, um, it's been amazing, you guys. It's been so cool. Hi, <laughs> big dude. So welcome to the Star Yak Ranch. Let's keep educating. <laughs> oh my god, it is such a beautiful day out. Mm. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna show you some old footage because, oh my god, my hay barn is finally filled. Okay, so a while ago, we, we started yakking. <laughs> and I started with five yaks. And then I looked out in all this acreage and I was like, where are they? And I became obsessed with the yak culture. I learned every, uh, all the ranches in America. I learned about the associations and I really like went full in and I realized okay I really want to be a yak rancher and I want way more so fast forward to in a year's time we now have 125 because we just had five new babies <laughs> oh my god since I last posted but we're at 125 yaks for pets and breeding they're so amazing a lot of new babies this week but I needed a hay barn so hi this is massive <laughs> So look at, okay, so look at this old footage. So this was from months ago, you guys. Now the weather here can be crazy. You can't do construction when it's, you know, below zero and 20 inches of snow. So you see me standing in a field of sticks. <laughs> oh my God. And it was cool just to see the foundation of this structure get put together from literally zero to nothing. So it's been fun to watch all the transformations and things just come together out here. And now, hi, look at this barn. It's really big. And you may be wondering, why is there no black doors? Well, there is a shortage because of COVID, right? The supply chain, right? Um, and we're about to paint it finally, but there's only white doors available. And the hay barn's here. Now, over here, we talked about the yak salon. It is not built yet. Finally, now that it's summer, we're going to start this insane project. <laughs> right now, it just looks like a, I don't know what. So this will be the yak salon where we'll be able to groom all the yaks. It'll have heating and air conditioning, a wash station. It's gonna be pretty magical. I wanna just do something next level. Now that there's so many yaks, grooming will be way easier. Now I do love, of course, grooming in the pasture and just chilling with them, but for some of the more wild yaks or yaks with a little ornery personalities, this is just, uh, it'll be perfect for it. Okay, now there's an aluminum shortage in Wyoming, and if you want a custom plate, they just cut you off. So thank God I got my Yaks trailer plate. <laughs> oh my God, a few days ago, thank the Lord. But you guys, oh my God, we've been mastering Yaks, halter training them, getting them in and out of the trailer. It's been really, really cool. Ooh, the breeze is coming, the breeze is coming. Here, come this way. So we got a trailer. We've been really working the yaks for months now. Now we had this amazing exotic animal trainer and animal behavior specialist come to town, Miss Terry Lindley, and she is amazing. She um, comes from Oklahoma. And um, we're gonna insert some footage right now. Oh my God, we had the best time with her. She is amazing. And it's really like, you know, the animals, this is their world and we're living in it. So we got to really experience how to handle a yak, how to, you know, handle its personality, and you see us um, struggling sometimes, it's really, we're the ones struggling. The animal is gonna learn how it wants to learn, and yaks are so intelligent. They're way smarter than cows. <laughs> um, and Terry taught us so much, so we, we're halter training, we're leading, we're getting them in and out of a trailer with ease, and they're just learning to really be comfortable with humans. So we had the best time with her, and just looking at this footage makes me smile so much. Terry, you're a fucking rock star. Thank you so much for all that you've taught us. And she's actually coming here later this summer. Some of the um, yaks you're looking at right now will get a refresher from Miss Terry. And um, a lot of our new babies will get halter trained for the first time. And it's just 
such a cool experience. So if you want friendly yaks, you really gotta spend a lot of time with them. And I think that our time with Terry was just exponentially invaluable. So just to educate everyone, every pet on the Star Yak Ranch has a pink ear tag. Some people thought if they were ear tagged, that meant they were going to the butcher. Let me clear up all the rumors. So this cool thing is there is two yak associations and you can register their DNA, get all their heritage, their parentage, um, and it's really cool. So every yak that is staying at the Star Yak Ranch and we are using for breeding or just to love on, they all have names like, hi, Titanic, Gold Rush, Rich Bitch, <laughs> and of course Two Faced. So every yak has these as you see on Instagram or from ever posting them. Now you can go to usyaks.org and you can go to the yak registry and type in this number and you can see all the info about the yak. So no, this is not meaning they're going bye bye. Um, these are our loved animals. Now behind me, these animals are going to actually to slaughter tomorrow. No, they are not uh, halter trained. They are not. Uh, named and they just have just normal tags now these animals are now being finished with uh, grass fed only so they're eating a grass and alfalfa mix right now um, there is zero grain or treats given to our yaks that will become food where our pets um, in the pastures you'll see us giving them apple and oak treats they love those horse treats I think it's so important to educate yourself and know where your food comes from living in California I had no idea about that stuff nor did I care and as I started really fully living out here and changing my diet everything I mean I stopped eating fast food two years ago I may have you know cheated once or twice and had raising canes in Denver but fast food now disgusts me we're like that was that was my whole brand bitch I was at Taco Bell every day like, on Instagram like living and I'm not proud of that person I'm proud of the Jeffrey Lynn that stands here today with clear skin, a real like I'm toned, I feel way better, I'm not bloated, tired, even I think the food was making me moody and depressed and it was really a part of everything I was going through. So to know where your food is raised is so important and these animals are just living their lives freely um, until it's time to be on someone's plate. And yak meat is so good, it's so delicious and I really can't wait for more people to explore and dive in because the health benefits are amazing um, okay now let me show you guys my meat all right you guys now I'm sure you've seen this online <laughs> it's been all over the news but yes you guys I am officially selling yak meat all different cuts from sirloins to roast to ground yak um, you can make meatballs from this hamburgers tacos oh my god um, if you're bored Google the health benefits of this you guys it is absolutely amazing 90% fat free the red wine color is because Yaks have a massive um, lung capacity because obviously they're used to high altitudes. Their, their red blood vessels are just different than other cattle. They're very sturdy um, and the meat is just gorgeous. So, oh my God, high cooler. <laughs> so yes, you guys, we will be shipping yak meat all over America on staryaks.com. The site is being um, built right now and we're very excited. And yes, they will be in coolers with dry ice and um, everything is USDA inspected. Um, and it's just done the right way. So now that I'm raising my own animals for food, I don't really eat other meat. Like the thought of eating a McDonald's cheeseburger, which is that even real? Um, like literally makes me sick. But when I go out, I love enjoying other stuff now like pasta and fish and things, but like I really only eat my meat now, which is so cool. All right, you guys, so thank you so much for coming along on this crazy journey. Um, hi, this is Star Creek Road. So when I bought a lot of this land, um, there was access roads where people could drive through my land and it was just obnoxious. I just wanted my privacy. So I built this road. Fatella, come on, pumpkin. <laughs> Living in LA, I had no idea you could build your own road. <laughs> um, and the county let me name it. Casper has been so incredible. I really love the city. It is just full of real hardworking, kind people. Um, like, I just have been treated so great. Um, everything from opening up new businesses to my horrendous car accident, um, I've just been shown nothing but love out here. So, Casper, I love you. Wyoming, thank you so much for being so fucking beautiful. Donatella! <laughs> All right, you guys, there is a lot of growing here at the Star Yak Ranch. There's so many new babies coming. 
and I'm very excited to expand. Now, if you're in town or you're passing through, the Star Yak Burger has officially joined the busiest restaurant in all of Wyoming, the amazing steakhouse. It's called Fire Rock. It's on 2nd Street here in Casper. It is my favorite restaurant, and it is an honor to be on the menu. So if you're in town, check it out, and I'll see you guys on the next video. <laughs> Bye, y'all.